everyone, this week we will do something a little bit different. I'm going to do a recipe video about amazing buttery cookie with spice. I know it feels like it's a big switch of direction on my channel, but I promise this video is still related to people's also ask in Google. Because if I do a recipe video, it will be a PAA inspired recipe. Okay, so here's the far-fetched connection between cookies making and BAA that I have made to justify using this channel for recipe sharing. Remember my first ever episode I made about butter? When I was doing the research on that specific video, there was a BAA that caught my attention that I did not end up using in the episode. So here's the part. Why butter tastes so good? This question is answered by an article titled Why Does Butter Taste So Good? published by webexhibit.org which is a virtual museum of science, humanity, and culture. This is a very interesting website. The first version of web exhibit published in 1999. Back then, this kind of site is useful because at the time, the major search engines like Google were doing a poor job of directing web users to a good and accurate information. This website stopped updating in 2003, once search engine became powerful because, you know, basically Google now can do this kind of curating job on a larger scale and way more efficiently and comprehensively. But they still sometimes make mistakes, you know, that's why I'm curating what they are curating and make YouTube videos. Anyway, according to this article, fatty foods are often more flavorful because many flavors dissolve in fats. As a kind of fat, butter works very well as a flavor carrier for spices and other fat-soluble ingredients. For instance, when you saute onion in the butter, before adding the base ingredients, all the flavor from the onion will be transferred into the dish. So here's the reason I decided to add spice to my butter cookies, and believe me, it will taste amazing! In this video, I use my favorite spice paprika, but feel free to experiment and use whatever spices or flavorings you prefer. You can also skip it if you want to focus on the taste of butter, which is not a bad idea either. I adapted this recipe from the classic French dessert known as pellet Britons, but I basically doubled the butter, uh, which makes the dough very difficult to work with. I will explain the solution in the video. So let's head to the kitchen and start making the cookies. Let me show you the ingredients. So those are the ingredients. We have uh, one and a half egg yolk for the mixture, and half egg yolk for uh, the egg wash. And we have some powder sugar, um, paprika powder, uh, this is salt, all purpose flour, and baking powder, and a bunch of butter. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is to mix uh, egg yolk, like one and a half egg yolk with the, the sugar powder. So we're just putting the sugar powder and the egg yolk. And you want to mix until you do not see any lump. So it's gonna take a while. And in this case, if you find your mixture is like uh, too thick, you can add a little bit of water, but just don't add more than one table, uh, one teaspoon. Otherwise, it will be too much. All right. So just do it until you do not see any lump. And then it's also a good time to add some spice. I use paprika, but if you want to add other spice, you can add it too. Uh, you can also just not adding any spice because it tastes really good by itself. But I will add paprika here. It is one tablespoon. One tablespoon. And then we put the butter into the mixture. And blend it well until you do not see any lump. You might find in this stage it's easier to use spatula. You can just use spatula. So you just keep mixing until you do not see any butter lump. Okay, so the next step is to sift the all-purpose flour and baking powder and a, a teaspoon of salt. Oh, sorry, one half teaspoon of salt into the mixture. You have to do it through a sift. So you need to make sure that you don't, do not have big lump. And then keep mixing well until you do not see any uh, lump. In this stage, you might see it's kind of dry uh, at first, 
but have some faith. Just keep doing it and you will see a beautiful cookie dough like this. All right, so now our cookie dough has complete. You might notice one thing. It does not look like a dough at all. It looks like um, just a bunch of melted butter. That's because it is a bunch of melted butter. I doubled the butter amount for a large margin. So uh, the problem of doubling the butter is that the mixture will be very hard to work with. And it will become like very sticky and uh, very soft. But there's still a way to work with the dough. Here is what we're gonna do. We are gonna ferment it for a while in the refrigerator and then we will put them into the freezer. So it will harden the butter so it will be more workable. Let me show you how to do it. First thing that we want to do is to prepare the plastic wrap here. And then we will just put this very soft cookie dough on this plastic wrap. All right, and we just have to wrap it up, and we just put this into the uh, refrigerator and chill for 20 minutes. All right, it has been 20 minutes. We are gonna take it out of the refrigerator and then put it into the fridge for another 20 minutes. Ta-da! Ta-da! Great. So after 20 minutes, we can take all the dough and roll the dough between two parchment paper. So here's how we do it. First, we prepare one parchment paper here. Then we put the dough in the middle of the parchment paper. Something like this. And then we'll put another parchment paper on top of it. Alright, so now we can start rolling it. But before doing that, we can put something heavy on the end of the parchment paper. So it will be easier. Okay, now we can start rolling. Okay, it will be a little bit hard. So we can start from by pushing this down. So basically, we want to roll it until it's... Uh, 1.5 centimeter in height. Okay, so it's about done. So how are we gonna do? Is we are gonna put that into a sheet and put it into the refrigerator for another 15 minutes. And we are gonna put this into the refrigerator for another 15 minutes. For another 15 minutes. All right, now we take out the dough from the freezer and we can just open it. Like this. And one thing we can do now is that uh, we use the pastry ring. Someone like to use cookie cutter to cut the dough, but however, I think since we're gonna use the pastry ring later on, they have to bake in the pastry ring anyway. So just use the pastry ring as the uh, cookie cutter. Uh, pastry ring, six centimeter in diameter. So you just cut it into little pieces, something like this. And before you put it into the baking sheet, do one thing. You slip a little bit more butter in the bottom on the side that facing uh, the baking sheet because it's a good excuse to add more butter, something like this. And you cut about eight of them. One thing you might notice is that uh, the cookie dough might become too soft to work with in the middle of uh, the cooking curd cutting because, well, it's just a bunch of softed butter, you know? So, in that case, you just need to reroll it and, uh, and freeze it again so you can work with it again. This is what am I doing right now? Okay. Okay, we got all of our egg uh, cookie. And now we just need to put it into the freezer again for another 20 minutes. Now we can take the cookie out of the freezer and slightly decorate the cookie. It's very simple. We just need to brush the egg wash that we prepared. 
and then we just need to brush the egg wash that we prepare and use the fork to make a pattern like this done and you do this for all eight cookies done now we put uh, the cookie back into the freezer to dry up the egg wash all right so the cookie might stay in the freezer for another 20 minutes at the meantime we can preheat the oven at uh, 320 Fahrenheit which is equivalent to 160 Celsius um, so it takes about 20 minutes to preheat the oven which is the same time that the dough is in, is in the freezer at the meantime we can start greasing our pastry ring so uh, the first time I make the cookie I do not use the pastry ring so as a result it melted right away when I put it in, into the um, oven so what we want to do is that we want to bake the cookie with those pastry ring and as a result we want to pre-grease it in case that it uh, stick in the pastry ring so what we do it's very simple we just need a melted butter and use your finger to apply in the in the inside of the pastry ring you don't need to apply the butter to the whole ring you just need to make sure that the side that is attached on the cookie is buttered after 20 minutes we can take the cookie out of the freeze and the next step is just to uh, uh, enclose the cookie with the pastry ring remember to put the butter side around the cookie and make sure the cookie is enclosed something like this and you do it for all eight of them, okay? Sure. All right, and then we just put the whole thing into uh, the, the oven and bake for 22 minutes. After 22 minutes, we can take out the cookie and then we want to take off the pastry ring, like this. It's pretty easy. Since it's uh, pre butter it will be very easy to take it out. Just do it for all the cookie. And then we'll put a book cookie back and bake for another uh, three to five minutes. Finally, you just need to take the cookie out and let it cool off. Yay! Okay, so after cool down, this will be our cookie. See? So it's very thick and beautiful. See how beautiful it is? And I'm gonna eat one for you. Mmm. 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 It's really good. It's like a million calories just bursting through your mouth with just one bite. Really good. Very buttery. Extremely buttery. I hope you like it. See you later.